Hi Cancer, <laughs> welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Cancer, this is for you. Uh, and I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer picture of how they speak to you. Uh, with that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So for your uh, key to the week, sorry the monthlies are late this month, I'm so sorry I've just been so busy. Um, Alright, so for our key to the week we have the chariot card, oh yeah, right, so why do I say that? Because the chariot card literally is the sign of cancer. And the chariot card always suggests that this week you are likely to overcome something that you have been finding a challenge. This week it may be you're getting a solution to a problem. This really does suggest that this week you're bringing something into uh, a personal, not even like a personal alignment. This is about you really getting a handle on a situation that you didn't think you were in control of. So this week, Cancer, you could literally kind of come into new power, new understanding a new realization of some sort but it's led by you this is about you succeeding in something it's about you finally having you know your hands on the reins and saying right okay this is going to go the way that I want it to go it's about you finding that internal power and putting that power into into practice in some way shape or form so for our uh, different sectors this week our actions and options we have the five of pentacles all right so one of the things that i will say to you this week please 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 look after your physical self slips trips knocks bumps falls all of this very possible especially if you're out being mobile so you know touch wood uh, I mean, if this comes up and it is something like a problem with the car or whatever, it's usually just a fender bender. Um, but there is definitely that possibility. And I say this because your five of pentacles can literally sometimes be a, a physical accident that takes place. And it's very likely with the chariot card there in close proximity, um, it's going to be while you're in transit. So, you know, maybe you're walking down the stairs. This happened to me, I think about two, three months ago, I was walking down the stairs and you know when your foot slips off the last step and I literally fell straight on my butt like it was really funny at the time but um, not a great experience <laughs> right so just be careful this week because while you're in transit this could be you walking somewhere it could be you biking somewhere it could be you driving somewhere you may have uh, a little bit of like I said slips trips knocks falls bumps all of that stuff, very possible with the Five of Pentacles. Um, and I say that because your actions and your options, this is about you physically. Now, this also suggests as well for a lot of you, some sort of financial challenge or hardship that you might have been dealing with is going to come to an end this week. But I will say this, you will know that you had to work to recorrect this. So there's something that you're recorrecting, rebalancing, um, maybe even recalibrating with your finances. Now, one way that this could play out, some of you could clear a debt this week and you might look at it and think, wow, you know, I've cleared this debt. And then you look at your bank account and you're like, oh, I'm poor. You're not, right? Okay, yes, you don't now have immediate access to that money, but you've paid something off, right? You need to think about finding a way to reframe this this week because um, otherwise you're likely to dip into that, you know, sort of negative or lack mindset. And for Cancerian, security is very important, as I'm sure you know. For your communications and conversations, you have the Four of Cups. All right, so, I mean, this is an interesting one because obviously our communications this week, we've got a Mercury retrograde, but your Four of Cups is coupled with the Chariot card. Um, there is help or assistance on its way into you and it may come from a very surprising source this week. It might for some of you be somebody that you don't get on with. It might be somebody that is younger than you. It might, it's kind of like the, the information or the little sort of nudge from the universe will come this week, but it will come from a very unexpected source. And for that reason, you might be tempted to be like, oh, well, you know, I'm not gonna take that. I don't trust that or uh, I'll give you an example. 
let's say somebody that you have fallen out with or really dislike tries to give you you know some help or some information on something if the information is good don't you know i was going to swear then but do, screw where the the message comes from if the message is pertinent and it it works for what you need or it answers a solution it offers a solution take it this is not a week to be stubborn it's a week to be open um so just be aware of that for those of you that work for somebody else um, you could have a breakthrough when it comes to work this week. And what I will say to you though, it's very likely, again, um, it could be one of those feelings of like, it's a little bit too late. Uh, even if that is the case, a win is a win, take it. For those of you that are solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, work for yourself or you have your own business, um, again, you know, there's kind of this like, oh, finally, now this shows up. If it was good when you wanted it, it's still good now, even if it's late, all right? So just give that a, a, a little circulate around the brain. For those of you that are retired or no longer working, um, I mean, I, I like this because it suggests that you're gonna be able to snap yourself out of your funk. And the way that you do that is by getting really honest about what your new needs and desires actually are, um, which is great. In fact, I think that kind of applies to all Cancerians this week. For your money and materials, oh yeah, we've got the two of cups. Collaborations, connections, partnerships, working with others, These are this is where you're gonna find the money. Right, so if you're planning to make more money, you wanna bring more funds in, you wanna bring more uh, revenue in, you're gonna do that this week by connecting to other people. That stimulus, like I said, you know, especially here, right? So wherever the information comes from, even if it's from somebody that you kind of think, hmm, <laughs> the cancer side eye, right? Even if that is the case, if it's good information, it's good information. Um, but I like this, uh, now, because it comes up with the two of cups there. One thing that is a possibility this week, that um, slip, trip, bump, fall, etc., that I've seen, uh, that is a possibility. It might also be that the partner's finances or funds take a dip this week because something happens to them. I don't see this being really detrimental, like, you know, oh my gosh, like a, it could just be something really small, you know, like, you know, like a sprained ankle or, you know, it doesn't have to be something major. In fact, I don't really feel that it will be this week, um, but it is a possibility. So just be aware of that as well. Um, for your uh, physical health and vitality, this would be your... Um, yeah, so this would be your, your stomach, your waters, all of the Cancerian stuff, basically. Uh, your chest as well. This is a really good week to wrap up warm for those of you that are in the Northern or even in the Southern Hemisphere as well. Like this is a week to protect your chest. Um, just something to be aware of. And then for your... Um, home and environment, the home looks good. All right, this is the, the one space of life this week, I think, that has no... No real rocks to the boat, all right? Home is good. Home is what it's supposed to be for Cancerians. It's the sanctuary this week, um, so use it as such. And then for your love and relations, you've got the Five of Cups. So, if you've been with me long enough, you will have heard me say, whenever you see a run-on of cards, four or five of Pentacles, Pentacles, Cups, Raph, Cups, really? Um, four and five, that's a sequence of numbers. Whenever you see the sequence of numbers like that, it's usually a masculine energy from the spirit world that is trying to get in touch. If you've lost anybody in your life when there's somebody in the spirit world that you know looks out for you or after you, they're trying to get a message to you this week. So open your intuition. As a Cancer, it shouldn't be difficult. Uh, so for uh, remember what I said this week, it might not necessarily be you that has the slip, trip, bump, fall, or, you know, for a select few of you, touch wood, it might be both of you. <laughs> you, know, like, uh, you know, you walk into a door frame, you shut your finger in the door, you, you know, touch wood, I hope none of this happens, um, but very possible. But it looks like, because you've both got a five, right? So it looks like both of you could be having an experience like this. For a very select few of you, um, this could be news of, and it looks like either extended family or, you know, family, friend, etc. You could be hearing of a loss. 
not guaranteed, but definitely a possibility, very likely to be a, a male. Um, right, two fives in the tarot, because you've got two fives here, um, represents a vigil. Pay attention to what you're putting your mind, your energy, your attention, and your thoughts to this week. It's really important. And the reason I kind of feel like that's the case is not only because you manifest what you think about, but this week it almost feels like your intuition is trying to alert you to something that needs to be looked at. And it's like you maybe you've got so much other stuff going on that you don't really have time to look at it. If you're having a recurring thought or a recurring dream this week, pay attention. For those of you that are single, um, yeah, I mean, you could. It's a possibility. I'm not saying it's a definite. It's a possibility you could be hearing from an ex. Uh, with that five of cups, though, I think for a lot of Cancerians, when it comes to relationships, this week you could be healing something that a relationship has maybe broken for you. So this could be an old relationship, it could be an old wound that is revealed to you, whether you're single or partnered. Maybe something comes up and you think, wow, you know what, I do that because of a past hurt in a relationship. Uh, and this week it's revealed to you. So just something to be aware of, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have as best a week as you possibly can. It's going to be fast. It's going to be bumpy. Uh, you know, hang on for dear life and you, you'll be fine. All right. Take care and I'll see you soon.